show, a baby craves the touch of its mother's skin. Encouraging the mother-baby bond helps reduce crying and helps with breastfeeding. It's so important, in fact, Indiana lets some mothers who've lost all other privileges hold on to that one. Good morning, Indiana anchor Beth Vaughn explains. At three months old, Addison loves bright colors and nursery rhymes. <laughs> She also loves the sound of her mother's voice. She smiles. She's a very happy baby. What Addison doesn't know is that her first days, weeks, and likely her first year are being spent at the Indiana Women's Prison. Yeah. Alongside her mother, a former meth addict, serving time for a drug felony parole violation. It would be unfair to her. If I didn't step and be the mother, I know I can't be. When I visited, we met most of the eight moms who live here in the Wee Ones nursery. We also met their four babies. He's like, I don't want to wake up. A fifth baby is still in the hospital. Three other women are expecting. This is the baby hallway. There are letters painted on the wall in bright colors. They try to make it pretty homey, even though this is, in fact, prison. A maximum security prison, complete with barbed wire and guards surveying a number of violent criminals. But here, in this flock, the experience is very different. Autumn Kaywood welcomed baby Ariana six days ago. I'm gonna have that bond with her. I've been in and out of trouble for all my life and I didn't have the bond with my other kids. And now I have that chance to have the bond with her. The women take prenatal and child development classes, are trained in child CPR, and even take part in family therapy. You're so cute, though. And since the program's inception in 08, they've seen great results. The recidivism rate on the whole for women is about 30%, and we're running around between 16 and 17% for this program. They say any drop in women returning to prison is a success. Right now, the Indiana Department of Corrections reports an estimated 1.3 million American children have mothers serving time. We also want to see them get out, be successful, get a job, go to school, and raise their children in a healthy environment. But is living inside these walls, away from the rest of the world, fair to the babies? I think it's the best case scenario for the baby to be with mom. There are more clothes and toys than these five babies could ever possibly wear or play with, and a secure area outside for them to play. The babies are treated like the president or something. <laughs> but not every pregnant woman who enters the women's prison gets accepted. You have to be a non-violent offender and have less than 30 months left to serve after your delivery date. And God bless me to be in this program to be able to keep her. A turning point for Kay Wood and for Brandy Canterbury. I know I won't be back. She tells me with her baby in her arms, she's finally confident in a clean future. Yeah. And it's not over. I still have a long road. We only want what's best for these mothers and babies. And now we want to hear from you. Do you think the mother-baby bond is important enough to raise babies inside of prison walls? The conversation is happening right now on the RTV6 Facebook page. Beth Vaughn, RTV6. And by the way, the We Ones program is completely funded by federal grants and donations. The baby's medical care is paid for by Medicaid. And right now, the program is looking for a pediatrician.